What is good, y'all? It's your boy Jabook here today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Today we will be talking about the top three free agency signings for the Detroit Lions. All right, look, we got to admit, let's just start off with the news here. It, it's It's been great, okay? Obviously, someone has joined the team since the last time I've made a video addressing Lions in free agency this year. So, you know, I'm excited. If you haven't heard about it, you live in a fucking hole. You live in a hole. Excuse my language. But let's get right into this. Um, let me just say this real quick, actually. Um, so, yeah, Bob Quinn has done a great job with free agency. But what I believe is he needs to, he needs to get somebody on defense. He needs to get one more star on defense. I mean, he has made a few small pickups. But get that one stud. Don't to high tower. And uh, you know, things could be set. But let's get into this. I, I put Jose and Y onto DK and Y. Uh, Miami DC prefer Versace. That's right. All Philly Number three. Paul Warillo. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not mad about it. Honestly, he's number three. He's in the top three. Um Paul Warillo. Great, you know, he's, he's a linebacker, came from Atlanta, so he has playoff experience, obviously he won some playoff games. Uh, you know, he's 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 always been a solid guy for Atlanta, he made some good plays in the Super Bowl, obviously they did not win, could've, should've, would've, and yeah, you know, it's one of those, but AFC, NFC champion though, NFC champion, he knows how to win in this division. He's got a, he he plays in a pretty competitive division. A NFC South, you know. Saints, uh, Panthers and Bucks, you know. They compete. Especially against each other. But, you know, Paul Warrillo, I have to give him number three. He's pretty solid. Let's see a few highlights real quick. If not, then just ignore that. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put highlights. Yeah, we're gonna put highlights. Let's see the highlights real quick. Excuse my charisma, rock with a spritzer, swagger down pat, call my shit Patricia, young money militia, and I am the commissioner, you won't stop. Sorry, I should have said a highlight. Yeah. But anyways, number two. Let's get right into it. His name is DJ Hayden. He is a cornerback and he came from Oakland. You know, uh he couldn't hold Golden Tate down. Last time we saw that dude. Uh, last year, man, Matthew, St that was a fun-ass game to watch. I don't know if y'all saw it, Raiders versus Lions last year. You know, man, that was a good-ass game. Matthew Stafford with that running touchdown. Ooh, but that's not the point. DJ Hayden, he's got to be good for us. Could he be taking Nevin Lawson's spot at the two? Possibly. I mean, he was solid. He was solid. I know a lot of Raiders fans are going to try to call him a bum, but that's because they mad because he left. You know, but now he's in the good old Detroit Motor City. So, I got to give him props. I think he's a great cornerback. You know, definitely not Darius Slay level, but he will be a good addition. He's a good addition to this team. So, that's why I rank him number two. Let's go. Uh, let's watch a highlight real quick, and we'll move on to number one. I'm sorry, I don't know why I just did that. Don't don't take pictures. Light on my head, Gucci rags out on my head, put a red dot on your head. I put that gob on your head. Don't be talking to me crazy. Don't be talking to me crazy. Number one is combined for two people. But obviously we know which one's better, but number one, Ricky Wagner and TJ Lang. Oh my god. Man, Bob Quinn has given Matthew Stafford the wall, okay? 
we're getting walls in here better than Donald is, alright? You know what I'm saying? Fucking L, man. L. I'm sorry. Freaking L. But, uh, we, we got a fucking, we got a wall, guys. We got a wall, okay? Matthew Stafford has got some linemen, and, uh, that's, that's gonna put our offense up, man. As long as we catch some balls, we got protection, for sure. Taylor Decker, Graham Glasgow, uh, 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 um, I forgot who the center was, I'm gonna be honest. Travis Travis Swanson. Travis Swanson. Uh Ricky Wagner and uh TJ Lang. That's gonna be an exciting line. Gonna keep Matthew Stafford safe. But that's it for today. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. You know, my other one did pretty good. I had an idea of doing this anyways, but you know, we just keeping your Lions fans satisfied. If you are a Lions fan, let me know what's your three favorite uh, pickups this year were, and if you're not a fan of the Lions, just watch the video all the way up to this point, what do you think your favorite team's best three signings are, but that's all for today, y'all, it's your budget boogie, I'm out. The first with the boys sewing her over furniture. Ah! It's the return of the. Oh wait, no wait, you're kidding. He didn't just say what I think he did. did